One minute. All right. Because I got a long story to tell you. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for making it out tonight. It means so much to see every one of your faces, really. I'm lucky enough to be standing here with five other incredible people. Anybody who's willing to put their self out there for public service, get an A plus in my book. But also, I want to make sure that you know, I'm the only one standing here with a business attitude with a service-oriented attitude. So if this doesn't work, there is no coming back. For me, service is in my blood. And don't kid yourself, this is a service-oriented job. You have to be dedicated and committed to the neighborhood. And my life has shown this over and over again. I just want to apologize if sometimes you have a hard time understanding my English. I speak five languages, so sometimes it's difficult. I apologize. But this is a diverse neighborhood, and I'm a diverse person. I'm willing to take this responsibility up on and do the best I can do for you guys. Thank you. And thank you all for coming out tonight as candidates. Uh, it's always a privilege to have an audience full of people. Um, you know, we're trying to reach as many voters as we can. That's the nature of a campaign, and, and sometimes it's difficult to do so. When you come to us, uh, we're, we're very appreciative, and we appreciate your attention tonight. Thanks to the panel uh, for your excellent questions, and thanks especially to the Wells students uh, for their great questions. Uh, I enjoyed that as well. Um, you know, as Beta said, there's a strong field of candidates here, and I truly believe in my heart all six of us are in it for the right reasons. Um, but it's not enough to just want the job. You have to be prepared for the job. I've been preparing for this job my whole life. I feel like I've been doing this job my whole life. I've been serving the needs of my community ever since I was a kid in school. I was always the first one to raise my hand and volunteer for the bake sale or, or to get involved in a project. Um, I'm ready to do this job, and I'm applying for this job with you. So I do hope you'll consider me, and I'm asking for your vote on February 24th. Thank you. Quickly, I want to thank Lynn, I want to thank Kim, Liz, and Neil for their hard work tonight. It was a lot of work to get this, uh, these two forums put together, so props to you guys for doing it. So I think a lot of you know me in the room, I know a lot of you. I've been in the trenches and I have a love for community and I think I prove that every day. I have not been grooming myself for this office for years. I am rising up from the community trying to defend your rights and show you that I want you to be part of this process. I want to introduce participatory budgeting so you know that you can hold me accountable to making sure we are making improvements in this neighborhood. I want to work with the Ukrainian community closer. I've already been working with them with the Neighborhood Association. I think we have a long way to go. I am not supported by the Daily Administration or the Emanuel Administration. I'm not beholden to anybody. When you're beholden, that's when schools get closed. When you're beholden in city council, that's when they close your police station. And that's what's something that we're all still dealing with, having to have all of our beat cops come from Pilsen. So I want you to remember I have the longest name, <laughs> the Greekest name on the ballot, and I hope you're your, I have your vote on uh, February 24th. Thank you. Steve may have the Greekest name, but I think mine is the oddest spelling. I'm going to go with that. Alex with a Y. Don't forget it. Um, all of you, thanks so much for being here. This, I think we would probably all agree with this. This is the longest, hardest job interview I've ever had, and it's a privilege to be able to stand up here and talk to you a little bit about why I want to be like your alderman, and thank you for being here to be a part of the interview process. Um, I started out in my introductory comments talking to you about my background, and it's, it's really personal to me. Government is such an important personal thing in our life, and it, it helped me. Um, it helped me achieve successes in my life, and I want to make government work for you. I genuinely do. I want to get up every morning and fight for our neighborhoods because I can't imagine doing anything um, more fulfilling. And, you know, whether you are a parent who wants more accountability from your schools or a taxpayer who wants, um, you know, more accountability downtown when it comes to how bu we're budgeting and how, we're, how or whether we're paying our pensions, or a senior citizen who wants a safer neighborhood, I am going to have your back. That's what I want to get up every day and do. And I'd be honored and privileged to serve all of you as your alderman.
I entered this race because I wanted to make sure you had a candidate that was in it for your interest. And you can look at that if, just by my D2s. You can see my average donation is about $200. And I actually have a few donors in the room. Thank you. And I also wanted to make sure I was running a campaign that I could be proud of. Either way, win or lose, I'm really hoping I'm going to win. But a campaign that I'm proud of, and by doing so, I came up, I became a part of a program called Run Clean that a few of us up here are part of. Uh, but unfortunately, Brian and Alex didn't uh, take part in this campaign because we had to have a limit of $125,000 of how much we're going to raise. It takes a lot to raise money, especially to find clean money. Um, and to bring those mailers to you in your mailboxes, that $50 to $100 donations, it takes a lot of those. And so I'm just going to let you know, don't believe everything you're reading uh, in those fancy mailers that are coming through. I'm the proven independent. I've been working for Altman Wegas Pack and Altman Theory Ready uh, for the last four years on and off. And I'm really in this for you, and uh, I'm not in it with any machine backing. Thank you. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, it's, it's incredibly important that you all participate in this process. Um, it has been a long process, but I'm thankful for the opportunity to speak before you uh, one more time. Uh, and I'll simply say it's time. It's time for a different type of leadership in the city council. Uh, it's time for someone who is truly independent, someone with a diverse background, uh, whether it's Marine Corps uh, or an attorney, and uh, someone who will advocate simply on your behalf. It's time. It's time to move on from the uh, old politics of the past. Everyone talks about the Chicago way and the Chicago machines. It's time to break that chain. So I humbly submit myself. I want to be your alderman. I want to be your full-time alderman going forward. I simply want to advocate your behalf and bring the best and brightest people uh, into city council on my staff so I can advocate on your behalf. It would be my honor to be your next second ward alderman. I'm Cornell Wilson, and thank you for your time.